It was a pretty easy decision for Canada because, uh, to be blunt, um, when the British Empire declared war, uh, we were automatically at war because at that time our foreign policy was controlled uh, in the Houses of Parliament in Westminster in London. The sheer number of soldiers required uh, for the First World War uh, was far and above uh, what we could have provided as a fair share of the Empire's contribution to the war effort. There were only a few thousand uh, uniformed troops in Canada at the time, a very small regular force of around 2,000 soldiers. And from that, um, the, uh, the Canadian Army was built into a force that uh, at its peak included uh, 620,000 uh, soldiers uh, over the course of the, of, the, uh, of the First World War. To create that army uh, was a tremendously challenging undertaking, as you can imagine. Um, there had been a mobilization plan in existence before the First World War, but the, uh, the Minister of Militia, uh, Sir Samuel Hughes, uh, decided that plan uh, wasn't good enough and he came up with his own plan which resulted in the creation of numbered battalions of infantry um, that were brought together in a very new uh, training base in Valcarche, Quebec to train and equip and prepare for war from which they were sent to uh, Quebec City or ports like Halifax for um, the, their uh, trip overseas. So it, was, it wasn't easy. Um, but uh, considering that the, uh, the first Canadian contingent uh, left for England before the end of uh, 1914, uh, it, was, it was very quick and uh, many folks uh, uh, can uh, take issue with perhaps the way that uh, Sir Samuel Hughes did what he did to raise the Canadian Army, um, but uh, you know, the, the facts speak for themselves in terms of how quickly it was done. There was a lot of confusion, of course, because Troops were coming from all over the country, from recruiting centers as far away as uh, Vancouver uh, and Halifax and, and so on. But uh, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, the creation of, uh, of these numbered battalions uh, didn't take as long uh, as folks probably thought it would. And uh, by 1915, um, there were uh, two divisions of Canadian troops uh, ready for action in Europe.